Hi, this is Bill. Today I'm going to show you how to set up from the beginning a reading conferences and a conferring process inside of Google Docs and give you the ability to sort students in a variety of different ways. So what I have is I'm in my Google Docs right now and under my drive I have already created a couple different folders and so one of the folders that I have here is it's, I called it kindergarten reading template and in the kindergarten reading template I have two different documents I have a folder and an actual document the student template if we open that up it's going to pull up the teaching level A teaching points as well as the space below to actually take the notes the, for conferring when you confer with kids. Now the other piece is just all of the different levels, the reading level pictures that go into this document. So this right here is actually a picture that I took directly from this document. So those are two components that I have already created and I have shared with the people I need to share that with. So once you have these documents shared with you, what you need to do first of all is set up all your kids. So to do that, you're going to need to go to the student template, open that up, and what you want to do is do file, make a copy. Okay, so you're not altering this template, you're just going in and making a copy of this so that you can use it for, for each one of your kids. So I'm going to make a copy. I'm just going to call this student1. Click OK and it's going to create that new document. Now I don't want that document, that student1 document, it to be in this kindergarten reading team folder. I want it to be in its own folder. I have another folder down here called reading conferences. So that's where I'm going to put this folder. Now to do that I'm going to go back to my student one document and right up by the title there is a little folder icon. I'm going to click on that folder and when this comes up I'm going to choose reading conferences. Click move and that is going to put that document inside that folder. So let's go back to my documents and here's reading conferences and here is that document that I just created. Now obviously I don't only have one student so I'm gonna make multiple copies of this. Now I'm already in this file or in this folder and so I wanna go ahead and make it easy to make multiple copies right from the beginning so I know that I have the right information. So I'm gonna click on the little checkbox in front of my student one file and then I get this set of icons up here. Click on more and go to make a copy. And what that's going to do is that's going to create another copy directly inside of there. Now let me just make a couple different copies here so that we have the same one. Okay, so I have four documents that are essentially the same. Now I can go in Again, checking on the checkbox in front of another one. Go to more, and I can rename that. And I'm going to call this one student two. Let's do this. Call this one. Oops. Call this one student three. And then finally, call this one student four. Okay, so I have my four students in here. Now obviously you're going to have more students, but you want to set this up in advance so you have your students in there without any other content inside of that student's folder. Now, once you have your student document set up, you can click on student one. And let's suppose that student one is not really at a level A, reading level anymore. He has moved up to a level C. I'm going to click on this dot, this particular picture click and delete it then go to insert image and I want to insert an image that's already in my Google Drive. Now I have lots of images inside my Google Drive but I need to go and find that read, kindergarten reading template. Click on that here are my reading levels and here are all of the different levels. So I'm just going to take, I just said level C, I'm going to take level C, select that, and it's going to insert it directly inside there. 
So at the top of my page, I'm always going to have the teaching points for that particular reading level. So student one is now in reading level C. I don't need to save or anything like that. Google Docs does that for me. When I'm done, all I have to do is X out of that tab. And we will see when I go back into student one, level C is still there. So student one is now in my level C reading level. Okay, I've put that in there, but I want to be able to see all of the students who are in my level C reading level right now. And so I've made two other folders down here. One of them is called strategies and one of them is called reading levels. Okay, strategies, these would be instructional strategies that I might use, things that I want these kids to work on specifically. Reading levels are going to be just what we talked about, level A through I or however far you're going to go. And each of these folders, each of the folders inside those folders, all those are our tags. Google Docs calls them folders, but really what they are, they're just tags. So what you're going to do is, let's suppose that I want to take student one, and I want to put student one in multiple folders. So I want him, him this student, to be in a specific reading level, reading level C, and I want them to be also in, reading, in strategy two so that I can sort and see all my kids that are in reading level C as well as all of my kids that are in strategy group 2. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to open up student 1's folder or document here and go back up to the folder icon. Because this is already in a folder it tells me what folder it's in and I'm going to click organize right down here at the bottom. It's going to bring up this same structure but instead of just clicking on one, I'm going to open up my reading levels. I said that he was going to be in reading level C, so let me go ahead and click on C. But I also want this student to be in strategy number two. So in order to put him in two different folders, what I need to do is hold down on my keyboard the control key. Level C is already checked. I'm going to check reading level or strategy two, and you can see that there's two check boxes now. So when I click this folder, I'm going to find that my student, this student's document is both in level C and strategy two, which also means when I go back to my reading conferences folder, first of all, you're not going to see student one on here anymore, but I can go to level C. There is student one. Okay, so that's one place that I can find that student and I can go to strategies and go to number two and I'll find him there and you can also see right behind the title it shows what other folder that student is in. So let's suppose at this point that my student that is in level C has just gone ahead and is now in level D. Well I can change that as well. So let me go ahead and open up this student one document here is the student one document and first of all if they've moved from level C to level D I'm going to click on the picture delete it and go to insert image and this time again I need to go to Google Drive I need to go to my drive find the kindergarten reading template folder here are my reading levels and here is level D insert that and then since I want to change this from level D to level C, I need to come back up to the icon, click on organize, come down here, they are under reading conferences, and if I want to change and have it level D instead of level C, first of all go ahead and hold down the control key again, click on level C, and then click on level D. And that has just essentially moved them from the level C folder to the level D folder. Click on move and it's done. So coming back here, here is my student one. You can see that it is at the level D folder. So this is a really good way to sort your students and group them by both reading level and instructional strategy that you might be using with them. One thing that you want to be sure to not do is really mess with anything that's in the templates folder because this is shared a little guy 
on the folder shows that it is shared by other people. And so if you delete those or move the reading level pictures out of that folder, they will be deleted for everyone. It'll be moved for everyone. You won't be able to see them anymore. If you move the student template or don't make a copy of the student template, it changes for everyone who uses that template before. So consider these truly just templates. Everything else needs to happen down in a separate folder called Reading Conferences. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please let me know.